Hello, I'm going to show you how to file income tax quarterly updates for rental income using 123 Sheets. You would first need to download the rental income filing template. You can do so from here by clicking on download Excel worksheet and choosing the version you need. The filing process between the softwares is the same. For this example, I need to download the Excel 2010 plus version. When logged into your account, you can also download the filing template from your homepage. You can either keep this filing template as a standalone spreadsheet, or you can choose to integrate it into your existing bookkeeping workbook, as I have done with this example data. To fill in the template, click on the box for rental income, press equals on your keyboard, find the relevant sum figure in your bookkeeping, click on it and press enter. Fill in these other income sources, if applicable as well, using this method. If you are under the VAT threshold, you can use consolidated expenses by clicking in this box here and transpose the figures similarly to how we filled the income boxes before. Otherwise, you need to fill in each category here. If you are using consolidated expenses, residential financial costs still need to be filed separate from the consolidated amount. When done, click Save and the figures are saved. This also works if you have the filing template and your bookkeeping spreadsheet separate, like in this example. Then, while logged into your account, you can click Home, and here on the To Do tab, you will see the outstanding returns. The data in the To Do and History tabs is all live data provided by HMRC, and if you have self employment income, that would show up here as well. In this example, the first quarterly update has already been filed and can be viewed and amended in the History tab. Back to the To Do page, click on File. If you are filing for foreign property, you will be first asked to choose the country that your property is in from this drop down menu. From this page, you need to choose the correct file type from the options listed. Since we are using Excel, we need to pick Default Spreadsheet. If you filed using consolidated figures, check this box. Then, you need to upload your file by dragging and dropping it onto the page, clicking Add File, and then clicking on Show Figures. Alternatively, you can click Choose File, find the file from your window pop-up, and upload it. You will then be shown the uploaded figures. Double check and verify that these figures are correct, tick the confirmation box, and click File Return. You will get a confirmation that HMRC has accepted the return. Thank you for watching this video and feel free to try out our demo and set up an account.